Uh, keep it off as play CB Honeyway. Game's not long finished at Oakwell Stadium, where it's finished um, Barnsley 3, QPR 0. Um, well, as you know yourself, for those that have watched the game, um, in the first half, I thought we started off okay. First 15, 20 minutes, we were on the front foot, had, had locked the ball, kind of attack, very attacking minded. But obviously the quality of the final ball, um, let us down a little bit, um, but it looked promising. And after about 20 minutes or so, Barnsley kind of got into the game. And obviously, as you know yourself, for those who watched the game, um, we gave a penalty away. Now, obviously, for those who watched the game, we know if you look back where the ball initially come from, it was our own our own doing because I think Bond tried laying the ball off the dikes, lost it, pass was a bit short, which then created the move which led to the pass where Barbet, I think it was, crashed the ball against Dickie's head or deflected off his head into the path of the, the Barnsley player, who then was free on was like free on goal. But obviously, um, Dicky was the wrong side of him, so he tugged him back, gave the penalty away. Eventually, getting sent off, and Barzi go on to score the first goal, um, and that made our job even more hard than what it was already. Um, you know, and then for the rest of that half, it was all Barzi predominantly. I thought, you know, um, and eventually. With their extra man, they scored a second goal, but yet again from our wrong our own doing. Um, you know, it's it's um it's a tough one to take because obviously we started off so well, but as you know, so playing with ten men, you know, they've got their extra man, you know. Losing possession of the ball, which doesn't help, ladies and gents, against our battle. It's, it's bad enough, you know, as it is. But when we create our own downfall, then it's, it's, it's an issue as such. Um, you know, it eventually led to the pass. Could we have dealt with it? Possibly. But, you know, the spare man would always have that uh, added factor. I thought Kakai didn't track his player. And, you know... It was what it is, and the guy, you know, they, they got their second goal, which then was, you know, how how Chaplin scored it was basically Barbet was coming across, flung his leg out in front of it, and Kakai behind him, and it went through both their legs and in at the post. So you know, Lady Luck wasn't with us, ladies and gents, but you know, it's from our own downfall once again. Um. You know, we've got to try and stamp that out. If we can stamp that out, then we've got half a chance of actually getting results from games. Because, obviously, at the minute, it's a, you know, we're not really scoring goals. We've, you know, not scored in four games now. You know, we're kind of creating half chances, but not clear-cut chances as such, you know. Um, and the third goal just summed up our night overall, personally, you know. It's... It's just one of those ones. It's it's it just summed up our night, you know. Overall, we started off brightly, but right, didn't really create much, and that's when you got to take your chance. As I say, when you're on top, but we didn't. We did we have any clear cut chance in that? Don't think so. And then the penalty was a bit of a game changer, obviously. You know, down to ten men, and more of an uphill struggle. But you know, we have to deal with it. And unfortunately, we didn't. And because of our own doings, in our own fames of like bad judgment in passes and stuff, we suffer for it. Um, you know, you, you know, everyone will have their views and opinions on the game and who to blame. You know, as a team, we we win together, we lose together, we draw together. You know, the manager picks his best side for that game. You know, once they cross that line, he can only change it by changing the player. You know, is it his fault that 
Barbet crashed the ball against Dickie's head and it fell to the guy and they gave the penalty away. Is it his fault that Kakai lost his man? I don't think so. Is it his fault where Barbe stabbed it again? You know, wrong foot in Deng for the third goal. He can't be at fault for them three three goals. It's down to the players as well, ladies and gents. You know, yes, he picks the side or the best team, what he thinks should do the job and go from there. But as I say, you we will have our views and opinions on the game. And, you know, don't forget, we've got lots of new players once again. Um, you know, we've lost a lot of experienced players, um, good players as well with that. So it's going to take a bit of time, ladies and gents. You know, whether the board will give it time is another thing. You know, fans will say, you know, get rid of Walton. He's no good. But who, whatever manager we bring in, we have the same problem over and over again. And again and again. So they're just my thoughts and views, ladies and gents, on the, on the game. And that's my after-match Review for Barnsley v QPR, which was played Tuesday, 27th of October 2020 at Oakwell Stadium, where the game finished 3 0 to Barnsley. Um, with unfortunately QPR playing 10 men from about the 27th minute onwards. That's it for myself, DJ Rain for QPR Fan and Players TV. Home and away, I'm out of here. Come on, you ours. <laughs>